While many Gramstown locals have chosen to brave the cold today to come and cast their vote, others have made the decision to not vote this election season. This may come across as apathy, but today we find out that there are various reasons for not voting. I'm Kandai Mukamiri. I'm from Zimbabwe, but changed to South African ID holder, but not yet a citizen. Okay. I'm Pumelelo Mithila. Um, I'm from KZN, Hillcrest. Um, I'm 20 years old and studying a BCom. In Zimbabwe, we don't do dual citizenship. So when you take up permanent residence in another country, you have to forfeit your own. So I'm still waiting for my three years for after having South African permanent residence to be a citizen. But at the same time, I'm no longer a citizen of Zimbabwe. I think South African politics is way better than Zimbabwean because people get a chance to air out their views and they can freely wear a t-shirt for any party that they want. But in Zimbabwe, there is this fear that has been there for a long time. Only now are people starting to say we're no longer scared. But before that, you could not wear any opposition party t-shirt or openly say that you're going to vote for the other party or advocate for it. According to the IEC voters' role statistics, only 24% of all registered Eastern Cape voters were youth aged between 18 and 29. These stats further reflect that 23% of eligible citizens did not register to vote. What this therefore amounted to was a regrettable 18.4 million wasted voices. At first, uh, the reason why I actually didn't register was, at first, it was a kind of like um, a disinterest in voting. But um, I say unfortunate because I actually, and I now realise that I actually should have, in a way, voted. But I'm glad that I learned this lesson now before the national election. In Zimbabwe, I would have voted. If I had the chance to go vote, I would have voted, yes. But I would not be open about telling that I'm going to vote for change or for a different party apart from Zanon PF in the fear of my own safety. But I would have tried to vote because also I have a few concerns that I want voiced out in Zimbabwe, but unfortunately I cannot vote. Some young South Africans have voiced their dissatisfaction with the minimal information available to them before they even register to cast their vote. This hence discouraged voter registration. Like I didn't really um, feel like it was worth voting at the moment because I personally feel like I wasn't well informed enough um, and I didn't know enough to cast my vote. I would have voted for a bit of change because I now see that if you leave one political party in power for so long, they get relaxed. So if they get to see that actually they have competition somewhere, they will not be as relaxed and they'll always try to be accountable as much as possible. I decided to take the decision that come the national election that I'll actually register and vote. And by that time, hopefully, I'll be well informed and, and, and researched and be very clear about what I actually want as a as a government in our country.